The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in the moment of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at the times of challenge and controversy. I've definitely been through a lot. I wish y'all knew. Just text, I know it's a toss up, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me, is you trying to fall through? I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we all but do what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap. <gasps> 2024. Woo! So beautiful. The sun came out for us. Ooh, let's go. Okay, y'all. So I got some little pouches. I didn't want to take my bag on the This one. And this one. And then some badan some bananas. Bananas to cover the face. Oh my god, you guys. They put all these wristbands on. This is how many excursions we got though. No. But why they put the, why they put that many bands on? We ain't need this many bands now. I love my like little Jamaican outfit. Ooh, 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 so cute, so cute. Back here by where the lockers are put in book bag and things in I guess these are the showers and changing rooms and bathrooms this is a nice little outdoor bathroom situation hi good morning anything to go over your head no sir Okay guys, I didn't get too dirty, but it was lots of fun. Have these showers. I'm gonna just dust my feet off because now it's uh horse time. We're gonna get on the horses. So rinse these off. Good, Jayla. Good. It's I'm working it. It's a movie now. This a video? Yeah. Oh, bring it in the New Year riding horses. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Yeah, man. Full of action. How you doing, Jayla? Just riding. Just riding. Just riding. You, you know what your horse name? Um, Ali, Ali, Dav Ali, Ali Davis. Ali Davis. Yes, man. See. Over here. Uh, he is ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> I mean, when they do it, they won't pee when you want to go. Uh, they only poop when you want to go. Yeah. This is what I want. That's what I want. Look. Yum, yum, yum. Guys, first drink of 2024. I love my Molly. Woo! Go after get my pants, we got this place in here. Um, just do it. Whatever you have in your mind, do that shit. Let me have... My breakfast is at the door. They clean my room right now. He have my reservations already ready. We have friends traveling together. Oh, you right here? Six. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so can this be a little bit? I don't know. I 
No stop. Just keep going. Up the tree. Oh my god, I never climbed up a tree, like a little tree house or whatever. <laughs> Come get high now. Watch your head. Yeah, I need smoke for a drink. Yep, hi y'all. Hi y'all. Hi y'all. Oh my god, we're at the top. The clouds, you was doing good. We had a great morning. Now you look like you want to rain a bit. A little scared. Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Hit me with a text voice, note of an emoji Waiting all day for your name on the ID I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land And we could keep the face on slow gym. Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have was the moment Okay, made it to the buffet. 
I got some oxtail, some curry, chicken, jerk chicken, a little salad, some food soup. Yeah. Starving. And your girl just got back from Jamaica. Of course, you already know, as soon as I land, I gotta get into some business stuff. So your girl got on her little blazer. I stay on my job, like no days off, so you can go YouTube classes are back. I'm Jayla Crayon, your fave YouTube influencer and content educator. My online class is ready for instant access and here to help you create viral videos and grow your online presence. My ebooks and master classes teach you all about making money online and how to turn your content into coins. I'm teaching the five major areas that you need to become the content boss of your industry and get paid. My YouTube blueprint course is your roadmap to success. YouTube has made me over $500,000 in ad revenue. If I can do it, you can too. Imagine being paid to look good. Glow up your social media. It's time to blow up online. Can you imagine transforming your socials in just 30 days and launching your online store too? Whether you want to be the face of your brand or go faceless, tapping into the digital money is a nail thing. This is the best place to learn social media education online for instant growth. I've been in the game for 10 plus years. I got you. You've waited long enough to decide if you're going to become the influence of your dreams. Learn with me and let's win all 2024. So this is what I want you to do. DM me or comment the word paid influencer to learn how to monetize your online presence. Your time is now. I can't wait to see you win. See you in class. But we got to take down this tree. We got to take down this tree. I got to get my office uh, fashion beauty room together. Like it's looking a mess in there. I have some things to do around the house to like reset us get us back on straight. I am happy to be home. I took time to just get away. Um, I did not do a big New Year celebration. I did not party my way in. I chose peace. Um, recently, I've never, I haven't said this out loud, and this one, this is heavy, but I feel like I'm under a spiritual attack in relationships. I'm, I'm like under attack. I'm under attack by the enemy. I truly, truly feel that. I feel like I'm such a genuine, good-hearted person. And the things that I have been experiencing these last couple of weeks going into the new year have been mind-blowing. I literally just feel like I am under attack. So... I'm in my season, I'm forcing myself in a season of isolation because I just, I'm afraid to be by people. And I've never, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I've definitely been through a lot. I wish y'all knew. Mm. <laughs> My makeup was so pretty. <sighs> I'm a very strong person. And I typically like just deal with all the things that come my way. I've definitely been under attack before. Um, I've definitely had some very hard seasons. But... It's difficult when you are lied on and your character is in question. Like, I just feel like throughout my journey, I've just, I just get, I'm under attack. And so I'm in one of these seasons again. And I'm like, damn, like, no matter how good I am to people, I am not getting that shit back there. I mean, I have people that, are trying to sabotage me like 
blatant sabotage. And it's hard to push through from that. You know, it hurts because like, I'm such the positive friend, like, I'm such the person that wants good for everybody, you know, so it's difficult when I know, like, in my heart, who I am and what I give, and how thoughtful, <laughs> how sweet, like, I can name all the amazing things about myself. And I do understand that when you have this light, it attracts the bad things as well. And people see that. <sighs> Y'all, it's just I don't freaking know what to do anymore. I'm going to take you guys along the journey of how I continue to push through. How I pick myself up every time. <sighs> uh. I've never let the things people say about me. I never believe them. Because they're not true. That's number one. If you don't have a strong mind, the enemy will convince you that you're not who you are. And I refuse. I've always fought back. Always. I never stood in it. Because it's not mine to stand in. So, these are the things that I got that I brought to Jamaica because I was trying to come up with my new morning routine for 2024. Let's get tissue, wipe our tears, and I'm going to share with you what I've been doing. We got to wipe the tears for one. This cute makeup just for tears to be coming down. All this cute makeup for tears. No, 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 no. I do a lot of <laughs> hyping myself up. Um, I learned this because I never really had anybody to hype me up. I had to be my own hype man. So when y'all see me dancing by myself or having a good time by myself, it's because I've learned how to do that for me. I've learned whatever I want from someone else, I have to give it to myself. <sighs> that's not always easy. I know that's, that's easier said than done. <sighs> I'm not the biggest crier. I shed a few tears and I'm, I'm like, child, we gotta get it together. I don't know. I come from a military family. My mom was in the military. My dad was in the military. All that crying. I know I look really feminine and cute. All that crying. I just didn't grow up like that. Cry for a second and then you got to get back on it. Um, so I don't allow myself to sit in it and I don't mope for multiple days. <sighs> now I do want to get this place together. Let's open some doors. Probably need a sage. I don't have any sage right now, but you know, cleaning up, getting some air in, <sighs> taking deep breaths. Life's amazing. Life is full of opportunities for me waiting to be unlocked. The things that you say to yourself, you have to believe them. Let's get into how I pull myself out of times where I'm sad, times where I'm just not feeling my best. Um, I 100% pull away from people. I do know that. But in the time that I'm pulling away, I'm not moping 
I am elevating. So for the new year, I have two books. The first one is The Five Minute Journal. This one you can do morning and night. Um, I really like this one because the first few pages, it really like deep dives into how you can use this to change your life. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious. And it's really explaining these things out. Today's gratitude list is, is telling you how to be thankful. Um, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in the moment of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at the times of challenge and controversy. Have weekly challenges. And like I just really like that it lists out. So while it's a five-minute journal, you do have to get through the first... Hold on. You have to get through the first... 35 pages so i'm on page 30 because it was a lot of reading which i really liked it really broke down I really like how this book really talks through situations like right here it says truth and actions how do i know i'm better today compared to three years ago this book is truly for anyone wanting to do the work on yourself and to explore yourself more you have your identity statement accountability the key to growth is to learn to make promises and keep them and like i said it lists out things that like examples so i really like that so in the morning time you wake up say what i'm grateful for what will make today great daily affirmation highlights of the day and what i learned for the night time so that's going to be my moment of clarity within myself when i wake up and i go to sleep using that the book of choice this month is the book of boundaries set the limits that will set you free so boundaries has been something that my entire 20s i've been learning and it's going to you're always going to learn this it's never going to be you're never going to be completely good at it because the things that the universe sends your way are always going to be challenging how good you are at setting your boundaries and this is big for me um especially with bringing people into my life i don't know Ooh, ah, it's just it's hard so we are going to get better at boundaries this year although i feel like last year i felt like i was on the way and then it seems like no not enough jayla not enough so we have a book to help that the next thing is i got a self-love card game for myself to play with myself you deserve healthy love from yourself too. So this card game has one, two, three, three different stacks. And level one is past, level two being present, and level three being future. Every day I pick three cards from the deck. So let's go with level one. This card says, reminder, the best version of yourself wasn't the only one deserved to be loved. We got a reminder. This is another one from the deck of level one. When have you felt like you needed to be tough? You know, I feel like I always have to be tough. I feel like I always wear this armor of toughness to protect myself. I feel like I never can let my guard down. I feel like I don't know what that feels like to not have to be tough and not have to look over my shoulder. This is one I'm working on. This is one I'm working on. These are all questions that you must sit with and ask yourself to grow a deeper relationship with self. Contradictions I contain. So, I battle, you know, I, <laughs> I say that, you know, I want marriage and I want to be a wife and that very thing scares me. And in the dating pool, it's a lot of F boys and somehow along the way with dealing with a lot of F boys, I don't know, maybe I have become, you know, a little bit toxic. You know, a little bit toxic. So I'm working through that and really doing the things that will align me and put me in the position of this wifely role that I do want. 
although I'm scared of it because it's like I say that I want it but then I'm like eh. so that's where my contradiction comes in it's like I I know for a fact I'm a wife I know I know this <laughs> But it might not be my time, okay? It might, it might not be my time. We're working on that one too. These are the questions that I'm asking myself. Um, I picked up all of this from Target. So you can get this at Target. And that is the routine that I'm on right now. I would say the highlight of this year is definitely going to be getting to know myself even more um, some of the other cards says, how have you kept yourself safe? What are you freeing yourself from? What's one thing you like about being you? How do you measure your own success? Where does the tension live in your body? <sighs> the next thing, speaking of body tension, it's like I turned 29 and things started hurting recently i have been having lower back pain like in the arch of my back on the left side it's a specific spot that tends to ache it feels like almost like a, a back strain it can keep me up a little bit at night from sleeping um, if I work too long and I'm sitting in the chair or if I'm, I'm, if I'm out for too long standing, any type of major standing, it's been flaring up recently. And I'm trying to think prior to my birthday this year, was it an issue? And, I, and it wasn't. But this past month, this specific pain has been flaring up in my back to the point that I can be working and I have to go lay down. I have to rest my back. So where does the tension live at in your body? Mine in this moment is a lower back pain. Um, I've been taking Tylenol. I do have some Aleve that's on the way. I did a like Instacart order. I don't know what that one is about, but that one has been bothering me. You know, your back, you need your back. I'm too young for the back to be hurting. So whatever stress that I am feeling while I am putting on this makeup and hair and glam and I look good, I, I do feel it. I feel it in my body. So just because someone wears, you know, what they're going through well, doesn't mean that they're not feeling it, okay? So I definitely feel it. Even if I can show up for you guys, full glam, makeup on, you know? <sighs> so I don't know what to do about the actual tension in my back, but when my body tells me to stop, I do stop and I do go lay down. Right now, my body has allowed me to get a little bit of work done. So this tree is coming down while I got the energy to make this tree come down. We taking that tree down because we bringing in new energy into the crib. Before we start with this room, <laughs> let's do the tree. It's done. The holiday time is done. I can say that the Christmas tree was so cute in here. I loved it right here. It looked really good. Here I find myself again. Time traveling only in my head. From the past to future play More change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid But the goal is not to be triggered every time Never mind, it's just life It's okay for my sanity To choose perfect peace And now for Good morning guys, reporting live from a clean living space. Everything's all cleaned up, 
right now i'm about to head to my chiropractor appointment this is my first time ever going to a chiropractor i'm kind of nervous anytime that i see any videos of crackings and the chiropractor stuff i don't like it i never in my life thought that i wanted to go to a chiropractor ever i never wanted to get anything cracked so yeah i'm a bit nervous but i do need to get my back checked out um it has been feeling better but um we need to figure out what it, what is the cause. So we're about to head there. Y'all, don't you have to turn like 30 or 40 before you have back issues? I cannot be having back issues at 29. We have got to know what is going on. So we're about to head there. <sighs> Fingers crossed that it's nothing major, okay? And I'm a very like up and dancey person, but recently I haven't been able to dance because you know, I don't want my back to hurt. <laughs> and I normally wake up in the morning time ready to do my little wiggle, 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 wiggle. And now I've been like, okay, don't wiggle too much. You don't want you don't want to cause anything to your back or like you need to save your back for creating a piece of content. No dancing. So I'm like, God, you don't want me to twerk? Is this the sign? You gave me a little back issue. So no more twerking. I like to dance. But yeah, I really do like to dance. So um, let's go. Let's go see what we can do about it. So we can be on the dance floor. See, even now I'm like, not too much. This is how we're going to the chiropractor. You know, she's still cute though. You know, she getting older, but she's still cute. She still got that youth. We just need to make sure that this back stay youthful. Okay. You guys, the rain. I made it here though. It's in this building. It's a big building. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I'm trying to go to Alina Spine Center. Okay, thank you. You can left. Keep all the way there. The okay. Last door the okay. Right. Thank you. So here's the model. This is your lower back or your lumbar spine. So you have five segments, right? And then in between those segments, you have these discs, and that's what cushions the spine. Mm -hmm. So they're basically water and nutrients that are contained by these fibers. But as you sit or stand during the day, gravity is going to pull down, and it's going to kind of compress these discs, and it's going to push those contents out so it gets smaller and smaller. So what happens is they don't have their own innervation either, right? So... The only way that they stay hydrated is through movement of the spine. So if you're sitting all day or just standing in one position all day, it's going to get smaller and smaller, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on these joints right here. Mm. So that's what's happening when you sit for too long, like more than two hours is just too long. It just wants to have movement in the spine. It's supposed to move freely mm. like that. So I would definitely recommend. Like I said, just even if you stand up, walk around the desk, sit back down, just make sure you keep movement in there. I mean, I work from home, so I definitely feel mm -hmm. like I get up and get a little get snack. Yeah. And like, you yeah. know, I, I can't say I'm just <laughs> really find, sitting there too much. I'm yeah. got to go get a little drink or right. something. But what I find with people that work from home, like, y'all actually work longer than you realize. Yeah. You are, because, like... You be sitting there. Yeah, and when you're in the office, you're like, oh, let me go talk to so-and-so, or let me go grab this, or but let you me You try do. to lock in more at Yeah, home, but yeah. at home, you just sitting, and hours are just passing. Right. And, you know, the day, and that's why they found, like, studies, people who work from home, they get more done, because there's no distractions. Mm. So you might be sitting longer. Oops, sorry. You might be sitting longer. Then, then you actually think you are. Yeah. But I would just sit a time. I don't know if you have an Apple Watch, but they have um, like a um, a notification on it. It'll be like stand or move or something, mm. whatever. You're right, you're too young. Too young. <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> this thing's going to come up. I'm going to check your reflex real quick. And you've never been to a chiropractor, right? No, it's okay. my first time. Now, I was never thought I would come because when I see you on Instagram, the back crack is oh, like, a lot. Not, it's a lot for me. <laughs> Scared. Right. Yeah, it's dramatic. <laughs> they, I, had a, I find the most dramatic people that just do the most. I'd be like, bro, it was not 
<laughs> all that. Okay. And I use mics too, but they use mics to like amplify the sound. Oh, okay, okay. And then okay. some people actually add sound. Oh, okay. Like, it's so dramatic. It is okay. Very okay, dramatic. okay, okay. Amplify. Yeah. Yes. Any of that painful? How far up is it? Um, you're hitting like right this. Right so here. So yeah, right in that area. Right there is the main pain yeah, point. You got this muscle spasm. Here too? No. Okay. Just, Just all right that, there. Yeah. That muscle right there yeah. hates me. Definitely a muscle spasm. And you're right, you do have a... This is the curve you're talking about yeah. going this way. Yeah, you can sit up real quick. The, the arch in my back, I feel like it gives me problems. It like, does. Oh, you got yeah. an arch. I'm like, child, the arch. <laughs> I don't know about it. All right, so. It shows all the curves. So you have three curves in your back. So one in your neck, one in your mid back, and one in your lower back, right? So the one in your neck and your um, lower back is called a lordosis. I was Googling that. I was trying yeah. to figure out, did I have lordosis? So everybody has a lordosis. So it's a matter of if it's um, this way or this way. So if it's this way and it's more exaggerated than it should be, it's called a hyperlordosis, which is what you have. But the brain can only perceive so many pain, mm. um, pain responses at a time. So whatever is the worst, that's what you're going to feel. Mm. And then it seems like when that starts to get better, then you start to feel other things. I'm going to raise your shirt up. Huh? Mm. Cold. Mm -hmm. What is this doing? So that's a muscle stimulation. It's called electrical muscle stimulation. So what it's going to do is it's going to uh, contract and relax your muscles without you actively doing it. So ultimately the goal is to fatigue it out. Cause when you have a muscle spasm, it's just a muscle that's stuck in a contracted mode. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of forcing it to contract and relax to basically wear it out. So it'll relax. Mm -hmm. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave that on there for 10 minutes, okay? okay. And then I will be back. Peace. All right. So I, I need that for the bed. Right. <laughs> you can put a pillow under it. Oh my goodness. If it's comfortable, so you just that's put it how under my your back waist. Normally, it this like is that. natural. Yeah. So you wanted to yes. come up like that, reverse that. You know? Wow. I'm going to start right here in the middle back, though. All right. Give me a deep breath in and blow it all the way out. Relax your shoulders. Keep blowing. Oh, that was good. Right here for me. Relax right here. Just let me move. Yeah, yep, yeah, just relax. Good. Straighten that one. I'm going to stretch it out. Now cross this over. And you should feel this in the top of your glute. All right, guys. So I am back home and I'm sitting in my chair, ready and excited to get some work done. I have my pillow behind me to make sure that i'm sitting up straight because this is when the problems happen it's not that i don't like to work but recently if i'm sitting at my computer for too long editing writing ebooks doing all my computer stuff i have to do my back will start hurting and then it will send me straight to the bed sitting i'll have to get a better like work chair the fine one my little office assistant. My little office assistant right here. So what I'm doing currently on both of my computers, I'm editing on one and on this one, I'm writing a new ebook. This ebook is YouTube Automations, your guide to YouTube Automations with AI. We do have a lot of new AI things that help us within content creation. So I'm finishing touches off of that ebook and then editing stuff on here so that's kind of what i'm doing for the rest of the day but i'm locked in to these computers let's go
We have a launch this week that I'm super excited about. My educational projects are dropping for becoming an influencer and content creator in 2024. All the things that I've learned over the years. So we're working on this big launch. I cannot wait to make it to the finish line of finishing all of the eBooks and all of the videos. I'm also gonna be editing a few more videos to go inside. What's up guys, my YouTube classes are back. I'm Jayla Crayon, your fave YouTube influencer and content educator. My online class is ready for instant access and here to help you create viral videos and grow your online presence. My eBooks and master classes teach you all about making money online and how to turn your content into coins. I'm teaching the five major areas that you need to become the content boss of your industry and get paid. My YouTube blueprint course is your roadmap to success. YouTube has made me over $500,000 in ad revenue. If I can do it, you can too. Imagine being paid to look good. Blow up your social media. It's time to blow up online. Can you imagine transforming your socials in just 30 days and launching your online store too? Whether you want to be the face of your brand or go faceless, tapping into the digital money is a nail thing. This is the best place to learn social media education online for instant growth. I've been in the game for 10 plus years. I got you. You've waited long enough to decide if you're going to become the influence of your dreams. Learn with me and let's win all 2024. So this is what I want you to do. DM me or comment the word paid influencer to learn how to monetize your online presence. Your time is now. I can't wait to see you win. See you in class. You guys, I just had the most productive content day ever. We're jumping back into fashion. And you guys, I my back woke up feeling like a new back. Okay, I was real scared yesterday. I was like, ooh, I don't know how long it's going to take. Y'all, I woke up feeling good. I got to record the content. I've been wanting to feel like myself, to jump into more fashion stuff, showing y'all my blazers, putting the blazers together and stuff. I'm so happy, okay? Um, I'm about to run somewhere really quickly, and then we'll be back to do editing. I was waiting for um, my, what is it called? My... Um, back support strap like my back strap to come in the mail um i overnighted one because i didn't want to start working at my computer at my desk and then hurt my back again by being in that position so i want to do all my desk work with my back support strap for my hyper Lodoris. so but i'm feeling good i'm feeling i'm feeling good i do have another appointment um friday um for my back but your girl is feeling good i just was like oh my god this can't be life back pains already but i woke up this morning feeling like myself and i have not felt like myself guys i promise you in over a month like the end of november was when i started having pains and it really slowed me down i, I want you guys to know that okay but i'm feeling back i'm back and i'm better I'm back and I'm better. I'm back and I'm better. Look, okay, not too much dancing now. Hold up. I got to dancing this morning. I said, hold up, Jayla. Didn't say you could dance yet. But let me run this errand and then I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, I am coming to you in my all natural realness. Ah, I am getting my hair done today. We are switching it up. And when I say switching it up, I mean we are going back black. Your girl has been a blondie for about three years now, and blonde had me in a chokehold. I've experimented with dyeing my own hair blonde, broke my hair off, it grew back. I decided to just do like brown and a little bit of blonde highlights just on my leave out for like my sew-ins because I was dyeing my extensions blonde. Every extensions that I got, they needed to be blonde. So I'm just giving you guys kind of like a hair check lymph check situation going on checking the status of my hair i'm about to blow dry my hair out this is my shrinkage what it looks like wet versus dry and my hair is 100 percent back healthy from the blonde breakage my hair does grow back well when i keep my hair in protective styles braid it up Make sure I put my oils on. So with me going back to black, I am going to be wearing a lot of 
black wigs so my hair will be completely braided up and it can have a break and a rest so I am about to head to my hairstylist I'm super excited about going black I needed something new for the year we have now made it to my appointment and yeah 2024 newness that's what i can say so this is my wig unit on my beauty channel i'm going to be posting more wigs that i am reviewing because your girl is going to be in and out new black units y'all have not seen me in black in a while let me know in the comment section what you guys are thinking with me back black this is how you guys are used to seeing me and i kind of gave you guys blonde for a few years but we are back let me know how you guys are feeling about this switch back to black this is probably how you guys found me you probably found me wearing some black hair so this is my original look and it is very refreshing to be back to her i feel really good i'm happy that i did the switch for new energy in 2024 which was really really needed the blonde was so 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 fun and you guys can go to my beauty channel to see all of my hair reviews or you can check out my hair hustle ebook which gives you 40 contacts to get in free hair and how you can get paid as a hair influencer like myself so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and i'll see you in the next Next one. I'm gonna leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we overdo what you're doing right now.